Greetings, YouTube. I apologize if I still sound stuffy. I'm still fighting a miserable, unpleasant cold. Um, today's article is coming from last month, and it deals with one Allison Levy, uh, who normally writes for The Lighthouse. Um, reading a barrage of violent comments and threats doesn't make me want to retaliate. It doesn't make me want to fire back at those guys with the same hate and rage that they spew at my direction about me and the rest of my gender. It makes me want to censor myself. It makes me hesitate to write certain jokes. Could this tweet make hundreds of men tell me I belong locked in their closet? Will, these, will this idea I'm putting out there also end in threats of rape and murder? Um, I'm about to quote a passage from um, uh, Miss Levy, and I apologize for the language. It's not a word that I normally use, even in the most severe of moments. Um, several men, once blocked, took a screenshot of that action and began spreading that I could not take a joke. There are no quotes there, but there should be. I can take a joke. I love taking jokes. That's why I do comedy. What I can, can't, can't take is being called a worthless cunt five times by the same person and then admonished for not being grateful that another man respected me enough to call me sweetheart. Now, the article itself that, she's, that this is all referencing to has an interesting opening and good close. I'm a woman, I'm on the internet. It's brave. It's not eat a burger in public brave, but it's still pretty admi admirable. It shouldn't be. Um, she talks about a joke that she wrote the previous month on Twitter. It's what she does. She writes jokes on Twitter. She's a comedian. Um, the joke, here's the joke that got a lot of attention and a great deal of negative response. As a woman, I hope that one day I have as many rights as a gun does, which is not an original and she admits that, um, a concept, but I still think it's pretty pithy and quite well uh, 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 well done. It's the kind of thing that I would easily quote uh, myself. In fact, I probably will at some point in the future. The ending, the ending of the article is also quite good. It feels like this should end with an encouraging message to women to stand up for themselves, to take their internet and say what we want regardless of the consequences. To know that whatever horrible nightmares come out our way, we can pers persevere and continue to write great things that we are an unstoppable force that not, will not be discouraged from creating in the face of disturbing physical threats. That's not the point. My point is for men, stop doing this. The only thing gained from you saying, discussing aggressive, sexual, violent, and threatening things on the internet is that we now know that you are part of the problem. And then at the pithy end, please retweet. Now, when I talk about these things in the past, I have always received negative responses. Um, I invariably will end up with probably as many downvotes as upvotes for this particular video because I dare discuss um, feminism and the way that men treat women on the internet. And well, the way men treat women, period. Um, but the internet is the topic at hand. And I've witnessed this from a passive position, just standing back and watching um, Rebecca Watson, for example, who, who does quite a few social commentaries and the response on her channel, um, not even related to the topic that she's discussing, because she discusses a myriad of topics like I do, but um, just the fact that she is a woman on the internet speaking and the vitriol that is just thrown at her, like, it's not even thrown at her, it's blasted at her like a shotgun. Just, just vile, evil things because she dares speak her mind. I have personal friends that have had to deal with these kind of things because they are women on the internet. Um, I know people who have put up utterly innocuous videos or comments on videos, their own or, or their own videos or someone else's, and had someone just viciously attack them for their appearance, for daring to have an opinion on the internet. internet. It's disgusting. It's disturbing. There are a lot of very fragile men in the world, apparently. And they cannot stand the idea that there are women speaking their mind, cracking jokes, expressing themselves. For some reason, that disturbs them deeply. They are so insecure. They are so scared. They are so fragile. I have to put up with, you know, a tiny modicum of that kind of thing because I have male privilege. As a guy, there are certain things that I can get away with, certain, th certain things I can say. Um, 
I might be accused of white knighting by doing this video. Oh, almost insurely having my manhood questioned, my, my masculinity. And I, I, I kind of accept that. It's sad that I know that I have to accept that. Just like it's sad that women know they have to accept the horror, the terror that comes with being threatened physically. Having people call you horrible things again and again just because you dare speak about anything in a woman on the internet. I'm just discussing this and I'll very likely have to ban someone on this video. I will be shocked if I don't. Stop it. Men of the internet, stop it. I don't, I don't have a pithy end today. Just.